Oh. Hello? I'm sorry? Hi. Um, am I speaking with uh, Vera? Yes. Hi, Vera. Uh, my name is Ron. I'm calling from the corporate office with WestJet Airlines. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. Glad to hear that. So um, I just received a complaint across my desk this afternoon. Uh, am I speaking uh -huh. with the right person? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me what actually happened? Um, well, Bitch. we flew to Florida, and um, that was great. WestJet took us. And we had some delays, but they were weather-related, and we understand that there's nothing that an airline can do about it. On the way back, we had to stop in Toronto, but we had been delayed so long that we ended up having to lay over in Toronto. Um, we asked a number of wet jest people where to go, and they all led us in the wrong direction. So Irrelevant. we got to the desk late, and when we got to the desk, they said, no, there's no point in going down. You're not going to make it. Um, we're going to put you up for the night. So they gave us, um, didn't basically named the hotel and showed us where the cabs were. They were fine until we got to the hotel. Irrelevant. The, ho the hotel smells like urine and garbage and smoke. The rooms were dirty. When we walked in the door, the two people behind the counter were fighting with each other. It's an absolutely horrid place to put people. Okay, but this was a complimentary stay, I understand. Absolutely. And I understand that we can't yeah. stay in one of your four-star hotels around the airport. Yeah. That didn't bother me either. Okay. But this was a very bad place to put anybody. Yeah, I mean, the, the issue is when we do the complimentary stays, obviously that does cost the company significant money from the price of I the, the ticket. That. So we, we generally, as a policy, we tend to find just the cheapest place in town, really. Well, it, it, it's, it, I don't mind modest. I have no issue. Hmm. Clean room. Um, I have pictures of the dirt, the dirt around the bed. Hmm. It was bad. Like, it's not a place you'd want your your tourists or your, your people that you're housing to be. Modest, clean beds, tiny room. I have no problem with any of that. I understand, right? But this was not, it was horrible. Okay. I mean, did it have all the basic facilities? I mean, I assume the bed was okay and the bathroom was okay and that kind of thing. Barely. Barely, okay. Well, the floor was filthy. Okay. The carpet was filthy. I, I wouldn't sit. There were huge stains on, on the chairs. The lamps had um, filth on them. The, the uh, air conditioning unit, which we didn't turn on, had f dirt all over it. It seems to me like it was some place that somebody thought it might be a good place for uh, immigrants to come, which I, you know, I don't whoa, agree with whoa, that either. Whoa, 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 ma'am. Yeah. Um, it, it was like it was like oh, a housing unit. Oh, yeah. You, you, you're gonna have Some, to. Somebody. What? What? What's your language there, ma'am? Um, this isn't really a racial issue, and I'd appreciate this you not, not a racial using issue terms at like all. That. I'm this an immigrant. Is, I'm not saying it that way. Well, you know, I'm this is this is nothing to do with immigration, ma'am. Ma pardon me. This is nothing to do with immigration. You racist cunt. Okay, you you need to calm down. I'm very calm. Okay, okay. Let Let's just. Not poke that whole hornet's nest here, okay? Actually, when I went hole. online to hear, read about it, that's oh, where I found that out. <sighs> Ma'am, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the internet. It's not all necessarily true, is it? Let's try and stick okay. to the facts of the matter here, okay? Okay. Have you been to this hotel? Not personally, no. No. Um, they, they put the stuff up in, in a five-star hotel. Pardon me? When when the staff need a, a hotel, we have a five star hotel near the airports. Oh, it's very nice actually. Um, but yeah, I mean, when we're giving a, a, a you know a complimentary room, it's it's completely free of charge. Uh, you, you know, I, I, I'm just struggling here to find the basis for the actual complaint. Really, I mean, really? could could you not have just cleaned the room up a little if you weren't satisfied? Are you kidding me? Sorry. What is your position with WestJet? I'm a customer service operative. Well, I, I would like to speak to your manager. 
Okay. I I can get my manager in here. Um, yes. You, okay. Are you okay to hold for a minute? I am. Uh, okay. Bear with me. I'm going to pop you on hold. You're going to hear some music, sure. and then I'll get my manager in here. But one moment, please. Thank you. Jerry. Are you hearing this? He told me why couldn't I clean up the room myself. And they, they, they actually put up... I said, have you been to the hotel? He said, no, we, they put us up in five stars. <laughs> you know this was free, hotel say. Samantha, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, what's up, Brian? I've got a lady on hold at the moment. She can't hear us. She's just listening to the hold music. Um, mm -hmm. This lady's made a, a complaint. Um, we just checked the details from back in February. Um, basically, she missed her flight, which I believe was her own fault. And she was yeah. given a complimentary hotel room anyway. And she she's, wasn't happy with the room. She wanted a better room, basically. Um, and I've tried to speak to her. I was just trying to get to the to the bottom of the matter, but she's quite enraged. She's been quite difficult, and she's asked okay. to speak to a manager. Um, can I transfer her through to you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thank you very much, Samantha. Appreciate that. Um, sure. I'll, I'll patch you through in a few seconds. Okay. manager good afternoon hello hi how are you i'm great how are you all right can i get your name vera Rowan. vera okay hi vera so and, i and guess uh, there was an issue with a um with your hotel stay yeah who are you uh my name is samantha i'm the escalations manager great um unfortunately your person that i was speaking to before didn't put me on hold. I heard the conversation that he had with you. And I don't mm. know if this is a new person, but okay. I am not enraged. I am okay, enraged yeah, you, sound, you don't me. sound enraged at all. Pardon me? You don't sound enraged at all. Right, and I don't appreciate the way he treated me um, at all. Okay, can you, can you sure. go into detail about that? Um, the, the reason I was I missed our flight was because WestJet was late coming into Fort Lauderdale. We were landing and this in had, Toronto. And he, Pardon me? And he, he had, I'm just curious, because you were, I thought you were, okay, so we're talking about the original complaint, or did you did you have a complaint about the person you were just speaking about? Well, I'll, discuss, I'll tell you why I, I sent in the letter, and then I can tell you what this gentleman said to me. Oh, okay. Uh, the then. reason we, okay, uh, he said that I was late. It was my own fault. But actually what happened is we were waiting for WestJet in Fort Lauderdale. And the plane right. was delayed probably because of weather, which is not, not your fault nor mine, right? It just happens. Okay. Um, Sounds very And when prepared. the plane came in, of course, we, we were on it. And when we got to Toronto, the, of course, the, the flight that we missed it because we, the plane came in four hours late. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we went to finally found the place where we had to rebook, and they said they would put us up for the night, and we thanked them. Okay, they great. Sent us, they sent us to this hotel in Mississauga. I don't mm -hmm. have the name in front of you. You probably have it in the report. And it was, pardon my language, but it was a piece of shit. We Ma walked into the hotel. The two people behind the counter were fighting. The place smelled like urine, garbage, and smoke. Mm -hmm. When I went to our room, the room was dirty. It had, I didn't take my shoes off. There were stains on, on the carpet, stains in the bathroom, stains mm -hmm. everywhere. There was okay. a broken TV in the room. Mm -hmm. the, I was afraid to sit on the bed. Um, okay. Around the bed, there was dust all the way around it. On the walls, there was dirt. It was horrible, and I said was, to this. Was this the, 
I, I understand it was a free room. First, I just want to make sure this was complimentary. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. And was the I hotel, understand. was this the, uh, cause sometimes we do do this. Was this the, uh, themed hotel? Cause it might've been like the wilderness theme or, or some sort of, no, no, like no, the, no, no, no. It, I can get you the name. Hold on. I'll go upstairs. Oh, that's okay. Go while you're getting that. Go on. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, and this is, this is what I was complaining, but I understand that we're not going to be put okay. out five star. I perfectly right. understand that. Small, compact, clean is all I expected, right? Truly, okay. I I understand. <laughs> this is not my first flight. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was the Mississauga Inn and Suites. Okay. But it was horrible. People were there, were fighting. People were cleaning. You mentioned that um, with dirty buckets of water. Um, okay. It, it was just so a were... very bad experience, and I'm sure that WestJet wouldn't want to put their people up there. I, you know, give me a but small room. Did. As long as it's clean, I don't care. But that wasn't the case. Okay. So when I was explaining this yes. to the gentleman I was speaking to, Ron. Ron, he told me that why couldn't I clean up the room myself? Hmm. He actually okay. said that. Yeah, he also I'm, said he actually makes a very good point. Um, I didn't even think of that. Okay, go on. Was that what you were upset about? Yes. Okay. And there were a few other things. I said. So I said to him, "So you stayed there, right?" Or no? I said to him, "You seen this hotel?" And he said, mm-hmm. "No." He says, "Oh, when we get when we go somewhere, we get to stay oh, in yeah. five star hotels. We would, it's we quite would nice, never actually." Put our, we would never put our staff up in some hobo hotel. I promise you that. No way. Well, um, no, but that's not the point. He proceeded to tell me how nice it was in his five-star hotel. <laughs> it, yeah. I'm, when I was, okay. ex, ex, um, the reason I called was because I thought maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't understand okay. how bad it was there. Um, it looks like there is some awareness, but uh, you know there aren't too many choices. However, we do want to make good on this, so... You know, my my goal my goal in this department is to make sure that by the time we get off the call, uh, the customer's happy with us and and won't have a negative experience. Right. So, is there something that I could do to maybe help uh, rectify the situation for you and your future travels? Well, well, I don't know. I, don't, I it really, I, I didn't expect to get treated by Ron like that. Oh. <laughs> No, like I, I was making a legitimate oh. complaint. I'm a consumer. Okay. I choose I to fly WestJet because it's a, because it's a I, Calgary company, and okay. I live right near Calgary. And I and then when he starts making comments to me, right about I'm going to clean the room. Okay, like what just is that? Real quick, real quick. I just want to bring up. I looked in. I pulled up the account real quick when he passed it yeah. over. And there, there have been some notes put in here, and I just wanted to maybe go through some notes here that I see. Sure. It mentions that there's some issue with it. Looks like there was maybe some derogatory things said about uh, immigrants and racism. No, I didn't uh, say anything about there, racism at all. I said to him, I looked it up on the internet, and they said it was a housing unit for immigrants. I didn't say that the immigrants housing. were bad. I'm an immigrant. I would never say that. But it more looked more like permanent housing for some people. That's all I said. Okay. I just, I and just I wanted want to, to talk about these there, notes. Actually, I would think that they would feel kind of okay. bad, degraded. So, there's a recommendation that here hotel. that due to the fact that there, I guess there was some drinking or some drunken behavior on the flight and, and you had became enraged with him on the phone, that we're thinking this might be a good time to maybe bear to you that uh, we have a no-fly list. So I'm sorry? we're kind of think. I'm sorry? What did you just say? Okay, which part? The part you just said. What are, what are you saying about me drinking on the airplane? No, I, I didn't say that. I, I'm looking at the notes on, on, your, on this account here. Is this a joke? This is not a joke, ma'am. I don't, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm trying to... I, my goal is to make sure that we have this all figured out. 
These are notes from no, five minutes I was ago. not drinking on the flight. I was okay. completely sober. You're not talking to a 12-year-old or a teenager. Okay. So that, this I, is not I, a note is on very, my file. Ma'am, I can tell that you're old. I'm not, that's not in question. I don't think you you're mean, a teenager you or some you young lady. You can tell that I'm old? Well, I, you just said that. You were, I'm just confirming what you said. You're, you're turning it all around on me. Um, you know what? I have – you're – you had mentioned you're disputing these facts in the notes. Let me patch Ron back in because I'm not sure uh, there's some discrepancies here between what he's saying and what you're saying. So hold on just a second. He's, brought, he's bringing on. I'm putting this on speakerphone. Ron? Oh, it's not on yet. Let's see. Ron Blackman. Hey, Ron. Yeah, hi. Is that Samantha? Uh, hi. We're, this is Samantha. We're still on the line with that um, that lady that you had just transferred to me. Um, oh, Vera, Vera Grown. Vera? Vera yeah, Grown, Vera. right. So, Are you, are you on the line, man? Yes, I am. And I have my husband listening. Okay, great. Uh, what, what's the issue, Samantha? Well, I guess there's some discrepancies between your notes. Uh, she's basically saying that that's completely untrue and that she wasn't being a racist and that she wasn't drunk on the flight. Um, yeah, I updated the notes about five minutes ago uh, based on some information that I just pulled up here. So, um, she, yeah, ma'am, you did make racial slurs at me regarding immigrants. You said it was... No, an she did not. I heard her oh, discussion sir, and sir, did calm down. not. Calm down, Who's sir. Who's this asshole? Calm down. Oh, no, you don't start making accusations like that. Sir, I'm just relating what your wife said to me. Will you stay calm I while I finish what I was what saying? She said. That's not what I said. I said it would look like it was, it was a place that was being taken over ma by... Ma'am, it doesn't oh, matter how you okay. dress it up, ma'am, okay? We know what you Everyone, said, and the call was recorded, okay? Um, let's all stop acting record, like immigrants here. But she didn't make any <laughs> accusations. She said Hold that on. the place looked like it had some... Sir, don't yell at me. Sir, don't yell at me, all right? There's there is, no need for that. You just calm the hell is, down, all right? It, there's no, no need for this it, type of racist and immigrant behavior. Jerry. Let's all calm down and civilly figure this out, okay? Yourself. Excuse me, sir? You behave yourself. You just calm down there, sir, all right? Have you had a drink this evening? Oh, tell me to calm down, you dirty, rotten asshole, B. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Helping. I'll have you know I'm British. Sir. All we need to do is love each other and treat each other with respect. And this exactly. has become and way out of Ron hand. Ron is not doing that. He's lying to you. I'm sorry that it, this is the way it is. Can I finish what I was saying, Samantha? You asked me a question about the notes. Yeah, and I, please. I'm sorry they keep interrupting Hopefully with the yelling yell and, yeah, and abuse. Um, so I had, and the call was recorded, so we have the racial slur on record. But I also pulled you up some notes. You asshole! Racial slur! What do you call a racial slur? Sir, I'm going to need you to calm down and let me finish, all right? I don't know if you've been drinking, but you really... Making accusations like that, man. Sir, you need to shut up and calm down, okay? Shut up, sir. Please. I think we should do the no-fly list with these guys. They're acting absolutely, yeah. absolutely um, uncivil. I had a recommendation from the staff on the airplane that the lady was drunk as well at the time. I um, you are not drunk, you damn son of a bitch! Well, What's wrong with this drunk. guy? How dare you say that? What a bloody drink on the plane! What, what are you talking about? Ma'am, calm the fuck down, okay? All right, we're just trying to help here. I'm fine, but you're telling me I was... Jerry, I want you to stop him, please. He's bloody lying. Look. Are you telling me to calm down? Ma'am. Well, let's, put them, let's get them on the no-fly list as soon as possible, okay? This, we, this I've got that taken guy's care guy's clearly of got some issues. He's not safe to fly, all right? No-fly list, whole family. Okay, I'm doing it now. Can you tell you that, that douchebag yeah, to be boy. quiet? We're trying to have a discussion here, and he keeps screaming and yelling like a maniac. Yeah, so just shut up. Let us speak to your wife, okay? At least she's got some decorum. I'm here. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I don't know what your husband's problem is there. I don't know. Well, do... the problem is, is that you're accusing me of doing something that I did not do. Does he have a drinking that, problem or something, take... maybe? Did you Are lock me? yourself in the bathroom? Because it sounds like maybe you're, you, we have a more private conversation now. Are you okay? Are you safe, okay. ma'am? I am okay. fine. Okay, great. But what, he, what you are accusing me of 
is not true. And I will do what I need to do. You cannot accuse me of being drunk. Are you threatening you me, Mom? You put me on a no-fly list. Was that, was that a there threat? There's nothing right. was wrong that a threat? with us. My husband loosed his shit, and he shouldn't have. Ma'am, language, but, language. Please watch the goddamn language, ma'am, okay? J- just really? So, you just swore yourself. I did not. How you, fucking no. dare you? Ma'am, I'm going to put you on the no-fly list immediately, okay? You and the whole family, okay? How do you think, what do you feel about that? All right, you won't be flying with this airline again. Listen. No, you listen, lady. Also. I am not. I never swear, ma'am. This call is recorded. You can't, you can't make these accusations at me. I'm British, I'll have you know. Yes, that's nice. Good. I'm also, He's British. I'm also an immigrant. Are you going to make fun of me? I immigrated to the States three years ago. Are you going to make fun of me for that? You know what? I'm an immigrant also. Yeah, you are okay. ignorant. You okay. are correct, ma'am. You're, you're ignorant. Well we've said. Com- we've, we've, we've established that he is British and you're some old wrinkly cunt. Now that we have that established, where do we go from here? Well, she's on the no-fly list, so fuck her, right? Click. Ma'am? 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 Hello? Who is this? Oh, sir, thank you. I think the line got disconnected there. Are we okay to speak? Okay, now what have you got to say? Okay, so... um, my name is Ron. I'm in customer service. I have my manager, Samantha, here on the line with me. She's my senior supervisor. Okay. So I'm just required to let you know um, that due to the abuse we've received tonight on the telephone, the bad language, the threats, the racism, um, and the drunken behavior at the airport, um, we are going to have to put you on the no-fly list now. Okay? What behavior at the airport? Um, there, and I'm just... I wasn't obviously witness to this, but... Um, there was absolutely no misbehavior at the airport. I'm, I'm just getting if this. Somebody's sir, making this sir, up. Don't interrupt. Well, I, I'm the just police getting... report shows a lot of information here. What sort of is this? A, is this WestJet? No, it's not. Hang this on. isn't WestJet. What makes you think that, sir? Who's that lady speaking to? In Who the are background? you guys? So I can absolutely assure you, you guys aren't WestJet. You can't be. We're with the corporate office at WestJet, sir. What? What? Why would you disbelieve us at this point? You should see our number because on your caller ID. No corporate people would act like that. Act like what, sir? What's the issue? Number one, you're lying to us. I am not, sir. How dare you? Sure, you guys are lying to us. That's so offensive, sir. No, Irrelevant. you're lying to us. You you went and you tell my wife she's lying, and you saying. My calling you liars is offensive? Jerry, I, Jerry, it's a scam. Hang up. It's now. a scam. It's not a scam. How is it a scam? Yeah. We, we don't want any details from you, you moron. Okay, you guys are a scam, so... How is it a scam? How is Never mind. Scam? That's not how a scam works, sir. Please define Never mind. scam. We did, why, why would we speak to you like that if we wanted your details? Hang up. Are you slow? They're not worth the dirt. They're obviously oh, very slow. Tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up. You her a cunt, right? Tell her to shut the fuck never. up, sir. I would never that's say that. That's what you call her? You, that's how you I'm, treat women? She is a cunt. I would never that say is, that. I'm a woman myself, that's sir. That's despicable. I am a woman myself, so I would never call someone the C word. Oh. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm just telling you that I would never say that. What do you find what so you funny find? about this, sir? I'm very upset right now. I'm not finding anything funny about it. Why did you say? You come up and you blame people for drinking on the flight when she never touched a damn drink. Jerry, hang the fuck up. Tell her to shut the fuck up, sir. All right, we're trying to do business here. <laughs> now I'm just going to need your credit card number. 